Hey girlfriends, I'm Bianca Renee and you're watching Bianca Renee today and today I'm gonna be doing a braid takedown video. I've done this once before and surprisingly you guys really enjoyed that so I thought hey I have braids might as well do it again. Now for those of you that follow me on Instagram you know that this takedown is a little bittersweet because I only had these for barely two weeks and last time I had them for at least a month but I am gonna be doing a curly hair event tomorrow so I kind of need my curls back for the curly hair event and I know many of you surprisingly said that you would still love me even without my curls but I mean it's kind of my job you know I have to have curls it's like being a plumber and showing up without a plunger it's like what are you doing but here we go I went with blonde braids this time they're pretty long and I added synthetic curls to the bottom of them. So, oh, <laughs> so that was a little heavier than I thought. This is how long they are. They're very Beyonce-esque and I'm going to miss them. <laughs> All right, let's do this. So I read my comments from my last video and a lot of you guys were really bothered by the fact that I didn't start from the back of my head and work my way up. I don't know why it matters if we're taking them all out anyways, so why are you mad? Oh, you know, we're gonna do it your way, okay? That's what we're gonna do today. All right, now we're gonna cut off wherever we know our hair is not. So if you know your hair is not this long, go for it. I don't know why this is so scary. It's like, girl, you know your hair ain't that long, but like we still get scared and we go like down here. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna play it safe. Okay, I'm gonna play it real safe. <laughs> And I'm gonna cut from right here. None of this is mine yet. It's long, but it ain't that long. Wow, I could have cut a lot higher. I really tried to give myself more credit than I needed. Oh, this is my hair. There it is, the dark piece. Oh yeah, we can really see my hair now. Oh, wait, we gotta do a time check. Just kidding. All right, it is currently 6.30 p.m. All right, 6.30 is our start time. I'm gonna start a little timer too, just in case. Now we're clocked in. Let's see how long this takes me. Ooh, that's the fun part, when you could just pull the rest off. And there are all my inches. One braid down, about 49 to go. So now let me read some of the questions you guys had on Instagram. Do braids hurt? Is there a lot of tension on your head? The first day, it can hurt. If you don't tell the braider not to do it too tight, they might do it too tight and your head's just gonna be like real stiff. Uh, depends on how often you do styles to your head. I don't think that I am tender headed, but I also never put my hair up. Like it's down 90% of the time. So this time I forgot to say, please don't do it that tight. So the first day it was pretty tight and it kind of hurt to sleep because I couldn't put it up. So just make sure you tell your braider not to do it too tight if you're worried about that. Boop, another one. How long does it take to take out your braids? We're about to find out. Is it normal for your scalp to hurt like a bunch? Not sure if she meant to say bunch. <laughs> um, it can hurt, once again, if you do it too tight. I actually noticed that I did get a little bit of a rash this time. If the braids are done too tight around like your scalp, like this area or back behind the ear, you could get a little bit of a rash. I thought I was gonna die, then I just Googled it and I saw it's a pretty normal thing with braids. So I did get a little bit of like a rash right around here because it was pulling on my skin too tight. It probably would have been better if I treated it with like Neosporin or something, but it didn't happen until I was in Aruba and I didn't have anything on me. But it kind of just went away on its own and now that I'm taking it out, like I'm sure it's gonna be fine. How do you deal with an itchy scalp? I would recommend adding some type of essential oil to your head at night or in the morning, whenever it feels itchy. I also, oh, such a satisfying thing. I also got this thing from Shea Moisture. I wonder where it is. I have to find where I put it, but in my last braided video, I showed you guys a lot of Shea Moisture products that were made for braiding and they actually have an anti-itch drops but otherwise you could just apply oils and just make sure you wash your scalp with your normal shampoo so you don't get any type of buildup. boom oh we are moving we are moving and grooving does the way your braids get annoying are they heavy this time they did feel a little heavy i did go longer 
and I got this medium size so they're kind of thick I wasn't able to put my hair into a ponytail because it was just too heavy at night they were a little much you know it's not easy being Beyonce much respect to her now that I've experienced this long Beyonce hair it's really heavy when they get wet so when you go swimming or in the shower you're like <laughs> they are pretty heavy so keep that in mind but if you're not getting in the water you'll live edges I have very fragile edges and my scalp gets sore on that area can I leave them unbraided you should not be braiding your edges you do not want to braid your baby hair that is way too much tension and you will lose them there's plenty of photos of like what not to do with braids and that's always one that I see so these little hairs right here this is what she left out because that's going to be way too tight so yes leave out your edges so you can have some how long do braids last it depends on your upkeep and how well you take care of them i knew that i had to take these out eventually like it hit me while i was in aruba so i kind of stopped taking care of them because i just was no longer motivated but if you do wrap them with a scarf at night it'll keep it less frizzy if you're not swimming that much it won't be as bad so just try not to do too much manipulation on your scalp the way they don't look frizzy and as long as they don't look bad you can keep them for as long as you want i would say at least a month how damaging are braids braids actually aren't damaging they're actually going to be protecting your hair and kind of giving your hair a break so this is a, my little vacation for me and a vacation for my curls especially for those of you that straighten your hair all the time or are tempted this is a good way for you to not be tempted to straighten your hair so it's protecting your curls from you and the straighteners did you braid your own hair what kind of braiding hair is best for curly hair there's not really like a best braid hair for curly hair but there are better types of braiding hair that you could use you want to use ones that are pre-stretched that's usually what braiders like to use because it's already stretched out it's easier for them to use and you also want to keep in mind that some brands I've heard hasn't happened to me yet you have to wash the hair first or it's going to be itchy so I've heard that there's some brands that make people itch and then they want to take it out so that's not good please leave a comment down below let us know what hair brands not to buy if you've ever bought in a certain brand that makes your hair itch but if you want to see the braided hair that I bought watch my previous video where I'm showing you how I got all these installed which is in my braided playlist how do you wash your braids that's another video that I just recorded if you guys want to watch that one I will make sure to link it down below as well how much do braids cost the cost of braids can range between 100 to 200 plus dollars keep in mind that someone might be cheaper but they might take longer so I mean time is money so I think I rather pay a little bit more to get the job done faster but obviously do whatever you can afford how long does it take to get braids once again depending on the person who does it I would say a minimum four hours maybe all the way up to like nine or ten do you straighten your hair before you put in braids no very good question the answer is no I also did a video on how I prep my hair before I got braids don't let braids be an excuse to straighten your hair people there's no point in doing a protective style if you're gonna damage your hair before you protect it okay do braids help with hair growth hmm I don't I mean I guess they do in the sense that you're not manipulating your hair so you're kind of just letting it do its thing your hair is going to grow regardless you kind of just notice it more when it's in braids because you could see it growing from your roots instead of just on a normal day to day but because you're not like brushing or combing your hair every day or adding heat to it it's going to protect it in that sense and that could help it grow because you're literally just leaving it alone and letting it do its thing do they damage or break off curly hair once you take them out well you're about to see but it, what you're going to see is not breakage it's just the hair that we normally shed every day but you're getting it all at once so because the dead hair hasn't been able to fall each day like it normally does you're gonna see two weeks of hair shedding that should have already fallen but nothing to panic about it's totally normal I want to get braids but I don't want people to get mad because I'm Hispanic oh that's a very good topic that might be one that I'm gonna open up to the comment section a lot of people ask can other ethnicities get braids or is it cultural appropriation 
I'm kind of on the fence with this one. Part of me is like, yeah, it's definitely like a black thing and I can see people getting mad. But at the same time, you know, playing devil's advocate, black people get blonde hair all the time and that's definitely a white thing. So, I don't know, it's a tricky topic. Comment below and let me know what you think. Can anyone do it because it's just a hairstyle and us black people should appreciate that you want to, you know, do what we do, like many things? <laughs> or should it just not be allowed? You know, can people just do what they want because it's their hair? Can one ethnicity own a certain hairstyle? Kind of have feelings on both sides, but let me know what you guys think, comment below. Can a white person get braids without it being offensive? I'm Italian and Lebanese. Yeah, once again, it's a, it's a gray area. I have seen braids look good on many ethnicities. I think I feel like it's a hairstyle and you should understand where braids came from. It wasn't just like a stylish choice that black people did. It's like they literally had to do braids to manage their hair because we didn't always have Shea Moisture and certain like hair products in life. So, I don't know. It gets real tricky. Y'all could do two braids. <laughs> Guys, I am moving. I'm going so much faster than the last time. I get nervous with every cut. <gasps> I should see how I look with short braids. Let me just cut them all. That's kind of cute. I probably should do short braids for my next vacation because once they got wet and it was hot, like I just needed them to be short. That's kind of cute. How often do you wash your braids? Only wash it when your scalp feels like you need it. I don't, I wouldn't recommend washing it every day because that's not what us curly people do anyways. So even with curly hair, we wash our hair once a week. So try to just do it once a week unless you're swimming, then you're gonna have to do it more after you swim. How to deal with frizz at the roots. The best thing for that is going to be to wrap your head with a silk scarf at night, tie it around tight so everything stays nice and flat. It's kind of inevitable after a certain amount of time because your hair is gonna grow. You might just need to get some gel and be ready to slick down those baby hairs if things get out of control. Do you have to add fake hair when you get braids or can you just use your own? If you have long hair or whatever length you want, you could just braid your own hair, but it's not gonna look the same. If you want like the this type of look, you have to add braided hair because this hair is going to just maintain the look longer. Your natural hair is gonna start getting frizzy a lot sooner. Whew, all right, I think I got through all the questions. I hope that was helpful. We are almost, almost halfway done and I'm going pretty fast. Yo, halfway done in under 45 minutes. I'm doing much better than last time. I haven't detangled anything, but it doesn't feel that bad because it's only been in there for two weeks. Here is my pet Fluffy. Oh, my little puppy. Give or take some minutes because I'm filming and have to stop and record and blah, blah, blah. Wow, I'm very proud of myself. What did I really do differently? Let's break this down. So maybe my braids were thicker this time, so it was a little bit easier to undo. I only had them in for two weeks, so my hair wasn't too like tangled in there. The hair was still pretty like freshly moisturized to kind of slid off. I also didn't detangle after each braid because I don't have really bad buildup. I have a little bit right here. See that little line? That's some buildup, but I didn't go through each one one at a time like I did last time. I'm gonna attempt to just detangle this all at once. We gonna see. But here, oh, hold on. I can't even grab it all. Here is all the hair that was used to make my braids. 
This is a lot. This is a full animal. This is a wildebeest. So now let's hop in the shower and see how much hair I'm about to lose. Oh yes, that first initial scalp massage is the best feeling ever. But now I'm about to use an excessive amount of product. So first I'm going to rinse off my hair, rinse off my scalp, try to get rid of as much as possible. Then I'm grabbing the Not Your Mother's Bamboo Activated Charcoal and Purple Moonstone Scalp Scrub. This smells amazing and it just has little tiny beads in it to really scrub down your scalp. And trust me, my scalp needs it. Then you gotta do a really good job at rinsing out all the little beads. But now I'm grabbing my Diva Curl Wash Day Wonder, which is a pre-slip detangler that's gonna make detangling a little bit easier. And, oh, please excuse my makeup just washing off. I'm gonna wash my face after this. But as you can see, the shedding has commenced. Don't freak out, there's gonna be a lot more where that came from. And I really wanted to just use any and everything possible to make this detangling experience as easy as possible. It still was super tangled. My hair is still kind of like in the sections of the braids. So I did grab a brush, but I don't know, it was still struggling. So I grabbed a little bit more, applied some to the other side, and even tried the tangle teaser, but like it just really was a struggle. So I decided to move on and cleanse my hair first. So then I grabbed the Diva Curl Build Up Buster. If you watch a lot of my videos, you know the Diva Curl Build Up Buster is one of my go-to cleansers. I really like that it has a nozzle, just makes it really easy to apply directly to your scalp. But I'm gonna scrub dub dub to make sure I get rid of any product buildup and dandruff. And hey, why not? While we're at it, let's add another moisturizing shampoo for the lengths of my hair. You can use the Build a Buster on your lengths as well, but I kind of wanted to try this new shampoo. And this is by Briogeo. It's very, very sudsy, even though it is, of course, sulfate free. Then I'm rinsing out the Wash Day Wonder, the Build a Buster, and the Briogeo Do Not Despair shampoo all at once. And to condition, I'm grabbing the Mangongo Oil Hydrating Conditioner by Myel Organics. This is one of my favorite conditioners because it is very hydrating, it has great slip, and it can be doubled as a conditioner and a hair mask. So this really helped me get through everything, and I'm finally, finally done detangling. And this is all the hair that I lost. I know it looks like a lot, it looks like a little toupee, but once again, this is just two weeks of shedding that hadn't fallen. So now I'm going to let the rest of this conditioner sit in my hair, do a nice deep conditioning treatment for 20 minutes using my thermal hair care heat cap. And just like that, I'm back to curly. Oh, it is pretty nice to have my curls back. The curly queen is back in her throne. Shout out to Wanda Nicole's merch. But let me tell you guys what I did after the shower. I applied the Diva Curl Super Cream, which is great for moisture. And then I added my Dippity Doo Girl to the Curls Jelly because I didn't have any time to mess around because I really needed good second day hair. And then today I used the Not Your Mother's Curl Talk mousse and the Not Your Mother's Defining Cream. So in honor of my curls, I threw a little welcome back party with all of my curls' best friends. So overall, I love getting braids. If I didn't have a YouTube channel about curly hair and didn't actually need my curls for my job, I probably would get them more often. But I do kind of treat myself to braids once a year. It's a good protective styling, especially if you're going on vacation, if you're doing a lot of swimming, if you know you're just not gonna have time to do your hair, or you just don't wanna deal with humidity of where you're going, I definitely recommend you try some braids. If you enjoyed this video or found it helpful or informational, make sure you give me a thumbs up and subscribe. I post two new videos every week, once on Friday and once on Sunday, so make sure you hit that little notification bell so you're notified as soon as it goes live. You also can follow me on Instagram at Ms. Bianca Renee. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching Bianca Renee today.